Kim, what is our second main topic today? All right, Rogue Three says, what is your anticipation level for Book of Boba Fett? I'm not feeling it. For one thing, a bald, unmasked, 60-year-old Tamora Morrison just doesn't feel like the same character that we met in Empire and Jedi. Every time I see a promo or production photo of Morrison in character for this, I'm not just making the... I'm just not making the connection back to the enigmatic masked man of the classic films. I also feel like the Mandalorian has already been doing a Boba Fett kind of shtick quite well for a couple of seasons now, and maybe we don't need a second show covering that ground. I wish I could psych myself up more for it a bit, but so far it all looks pretty meh. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in Rogue 3. And look, I'm going to tell you what. I agree with you and I disagree with you. Here's where I agree with you. And as psyched as hell as I am for Book of Boba Fett, and I'm getting really excited about it. It's in 19 days. 19 days. I believe it's 19 days that we are away from, because I believe it debuts on the 29th. So 19 days, two and a half weeks away from Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett, and I'm completely stoked. I'm absolutely excited for it. But Rogue Three isn't wrong. I'm not feeling the excitement from other people. Mm-mm. And and I don't know if that is just a symptom of the fact that we've got an elephant-sized Spider-Man in the room right now. That is kind of, that is coming out before Book of Boba Fett and is kind of gathering up everybody's enthusiasm and attention right now. Everybody's thinking Spider-Man No Way Home. Understandably so. It's the biggest movie event we've had in over 2 years. So I get it. I do. But even that being said, and and by the way, I don't think Book of Boba Fett is the only thing Spider-Man is stealing thunder from. I I think a lot more people would be talking a lot more often about Hawkeye if it wasn't for the fact that we had Spider-Man coming. Like, I think it's taking up, it is an attention black hole right now, sucking up a lot of the attention. Totally. And and good for them. (laughs) Like, totally good for them. So I'm sure that's part of it. But even then, like, even before... All the hype for Boba Fett started really ramping up. I did not feel like we, the the enthusiasm ball really started rolling for Spider Man. I think about two months ago. I mean, obviously, all, everybody's always been excited for it, but you really got that mo that enthusiasm momentum going about two months ago. Even before that, I I never felt from the general audience like a lot of excitement for Boba Fett. But I will stand here and tell you, I am. And I think we should be because when he showed up, here's what they did. Was I interested in a Boba Fett, anything, particularly a Boba Fett with his mask off before Mandalorian season two? No, I wasn't. I don't need to demystify Boba Fett. Part of what makes Boba Fett so cool is the mystery that we know nothing, all that kind of stuff. That is part of his appeal. 2020 John Campion would tell you. That's part of his appeal. But I'll be damned, they found a way in Mandalorian Season 2 to kind of recreate Boba Fett. And they had to more take the mask off. And that voice, that voice. And he, and that episode with the child on the rock and they come and kidnap the child, the one where Boba Fett just fucking wrecked fools. Like just was coming up with all kinds of creative ways to murder people, (laughs) to cancel the subscriptions to life for a lot of those. Like that was awesome. I remember bouncing up and down in my chair and just even as the series progressed, this he managed to bring an even more menacing presence to this character than I even think he ever had in the original Star Wars movies. And I have fallen in love with it. And this whole notion now about looking at him now saying, look, I was a straight up bounty hunter. I've done that enough. I'm the man. I'm not the man's guy. I'm the man. And he goes, he takes out Bib Fortuna. It was so great seeing Bib Fortuna. Takes out Bib Fortuna. He's like, I'm taking over this underworld. And who's going to stop me? Oh, you want to try? Let's have some fun. And then we got the book of Boba Fett. Ming-Na one looks great. So I'll tell you what, I agree with you, Rogue One. I'm not feeling the excitement from a lot of people, even though I'm feeling it. 
but I disagree in whether or not we should be feeling excitement because I have, I see nothing but positives in this. I think Tamar Morrison, I don't care if this guy's 80. I don't care if this is Clint Eastwood. Like he is, he carries that power and that presence. Like if he was so old that when he's standing in a room, I don't feel that dread, then that would affect it. Tamar Morrison standing there with that stone cold look on his face and that voice. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> He's the man. So, yeah, I get you, Rogue One, and I agree. I, I, I'm not sensing a lot of thing for it. Yes, a part of that is probably the, the Spider-Man thing. I wonder once Spider-Man opens and has been open for a couple of days, if we'll start to see a snowball of excitement for Book of Boba Fett or not. I don't know that we will, but damn it, I think we should be excited because I am. I don't. Kim, where's your excitement level for Book of Boba Fett right now? You ever see a toddler when you give them something they really, really want or they're anticipating something and they're so excited, they don't scream, they don't say anything, they just go... Yeah. <laughs> and they shake. They just shake. That's how excited they are. All of my energy is put into Spider-Man right now. I am that toddler going... I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, <laughs> so give me six days and then ask me how excited I am because I am exhausted with excitement from Spider-Man. I truly am. But I do care about Boba Fett. I love seeing this, the world of Star Wars expand. And I'm really excited for this series. Mandalorian blew me away. The storytelling was so good. I uh, Honestly, none of the um, Star Wars movies I cried. None of them. Not one. I really, like, will not lie, shed some tears. Like, Mandalorian just, it did something to me, to my heart. It just made me, it just really got to me. And so I'm really excited for Boba Fett, but I'm exhausted with excitement. I can only be so excited with one thing at a time. And Ask maybe me in seven that. days, and I will probably have new energy to go at Boba Fett. And maybe so, that, maybe that's what the thing is for a lot of people. Yeah, like, I think like, that's it. We've only got so much enthusiasm and passion. Yeah. And it can only be divided up so many ways and maybe it's a Spider-Man thing. Maybe it's not. I'm looking forward to this question is for you guys. How are you feeling about book of Boba Fett right now? Maybe you haven't been giving it any thought. Maybe you're focusing on other things. Maybe you're actually not even a big fan of Mandalorian. Who knows? Whatever you guys are feeling right now, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.